Hello and welcome to World of Tanks with m 4 Wheel. Today I have two replays for you, which you might have already seen, but not from this perspective, because this game, or these games rather, are from Quickie Baby's live stream, where I played together with, <laughs> obviously, Quickie Baby and uh, Overthwell, who is surprisingly not in an artillery, but okay. People claim that the Jagdpanzer 100 is a mobile artillery which can only shoot straight and doesn't have artillery over you, but does such as oh, but does as much damage as an artillery. Yeah, but not, let's go not go in deeper into that. Um, and we are playing here on Sand River, and um, yeah, it's quite a nice matchup. We are top tier, and uh, yeah, but some artillery in the game. But, um, yeah, I'm driving my E100, and as you can see, I'm using the E75, or, or the rather the mouse gun. Why is that? Well, I only just recently unlocked the E100, and, uh, yeah, to get the top gun you have to spend 64,000 experience, I think. And uh, I'm just grinding through that right now. Uh, so, uh, no big fancy hits, but also no heat spam, which I'm very proud of. Quickieberry, on the other hand, is using his uh, new toy, the uh, Object 260 in this game, which is uh, the stage 4 reward tank for the personal missions. And it's like it's a beefed up IS-7 with uh, 440 Alpha, basically. Having uh, the small gun on the tank has some advantages, as you just saw. It has very good accuracy and aim time for a heavy tank gun. and. With, uh, oh, Quicky Baby just uh, got hit by artillery. Um, you couldn't do that with uh, with uh, uh, with the 150 millimeter or that. Uh, bye 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 CDC. Um, yeah, uh, if you want uh, to see how to not play a CDC, look no further. So we just bounced a shot from the T125 there. And uh, that brings me on to uh, what the E100 is very known for. Very good armor all around, nearly. And uh, usually that makes it a prime target for artillery, because all it's, while it's not the, fast, uh, the slowest tank, it's also not the fastest. And uh, so um, RT likes, uh, uh, sees it as a big snack, basically. A big 2700 HP snack, which they can slowly chew up. Li like a dog can chew on a bone that you can buy in the supermarket, those cheap stuff. Anyway, but uh, Overthrow and I are in the very fortunate position to have Quickie Baby with us. And Quickie Baby, due to um, being Quickie Baby and due to his bright pink color on, uh, on the XVM scale, is uh, taking a lot of heat of us. And that's really appreciated. And you see how they all only want to shoot him, and while the Object 260 is very good armored, it seems... <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was about his best game he had ever had in the Object 260. And I hope you heard my sarcasm. Oh, hello, Mr. E75. Um, maybe he thought I used the big gun and I'm not reloaded yet, but uh, that's... Uh, the good stuff about the small gun. Uh, you reload very fast. And now I load a PCR. If you know me, I'm not the one who's uh, using a PCR very often, but uh, this E5 is really slowing us down. And don't forget, ouch, this was, that was the Jagdpanzer 100 from the enemy team. Um, don't forget, he's an E5. He has to be punished for being an E5 because this tank is so goddamn OP right now. And uh, I angle my armor, I use Quickie Baby as uh, spaced armor for me, and so uh, we can take him out. Of course, no one likes dying, and so does the T doesn't the T125. He is uh, a bit salty about me using premium ammunition, but I don't care. Um, it's uh, it's part of the game, and as Quickie Baby said, and I think uh, that's uh, very important. It's not about if you should prem. It is when you decide to shoot prem. Do you shoot premium? For example, I also hate people in, for example, the T54, who spam heat like there's no tomorrow. 
who have loaded the tank with 100% or 80% heat and uh, shoot heat at lightly armored targets where they would have gotten through with their standard ammunition. But in crucial situations where uh, you're getting hold back by a certain tank and can't advance, uh, then you for, for those moments you have the premium shots, you load prim and um, you sh uh, you kill, basically. And then you switch back to your normal rounds again. And taking out the E5 allowed us to advance to here and shoot the building that was in, in the way of the Jag to get the Jag Panther 2. And we bounced something from the side. Okay. Uh, and now uh, a T-34 appears. That was artillery. And uh, we should... That was quite a lot of damage, but also our armor held up really well there. And now uh, we get down into cover in order to kill this T-34. He bounced. Yes, yes. No big chance really of penning us if we angle our armor. Now we, he's he's trying to get over our lower plate. You see how he's getting the bell down. We were angled. He had no chance going through there. You see the bounce there. Uh, nice try, T-34. Okay, uh, this game. Uh, it's fairly secure right now, so let's see if we can pick up some more damage. Also, Overthrow is having a blast of a time at the bottom, f let's call it the bottom flank, bottom part of the map, and is uh, really putting his Jagdpanzer E100 uh, to in to good use there. So, um, what happened to this Jagdpanzer 2 that we wanted to shot earlier? I think. Um, at this point I was fairly sure that it, all the remaining tanks, or the unspotted ones, could only be in the bottom right corner. And there is the Jack Panther. There he is, into his backside. Yeah, nice shot. And now he's down. And uh, now it's only uh, AMX 5100 and the artillery. Where is the artillery? Oh, there he is! Oh, he's uh, he's in a in a ravine. In a s let's let's see if we can squash him. Squash, kill, destroy. I don't care if you aim at me. Oh, he tracked us, so we had to shoot him. Yeah, because our repair kit was already taken. Yeah, uh, we're stuck here now, but luckily it's uh, uh, yeah, uh, our team I think can deal with the with the remaining enemy tank. And finish the game off. Uh, a good win for QB, but it was on, it was one for the win rate, to be honest. Here are the post game stats. You see, um, having the E75 gun is not a disadvantage in this tank. And we picked up a high caliber, 5,500 damage, a first class medal, and uh, yeah, we even we made profit even though we fired APCR. <laughs> Hashtag gold noob. And uh, yeah, Quickie Baby had a blast of a time, as you can see. Speaking of blast of a time, this is a really fun map, a fun game. Um, I am in the Crumble B, and Overthrill and Quickie Baby are in their newly bought Skoda T40s. I know, I know, I uh, I posted quite a lot of Crumble B games already, Let's but go. bear with me. This one is uh, really fun, and uh, will, uh, yeah. Don't look at the matchup, it's really, it's quite unfair. But, um, yeah, um, just uh, enjoy, basically. Yeah, um, also, I just realized that in the whole last game, I was factual. I didn't talk about anything else than the game or stuff that was related to the game. And I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed for myself because I wanted uh, more. Um, yeah, to be more like Phil. Oh. I love killing artillery, especially with fire. God, God damn why. Um, anyway. I really wanted to improve and uh, getting more off topic. Speaking of off topic, um, I set myself a goal. I want, uh, in the next month, I want to grind the Centurion Action Ten. I am at the Centurion 71 now, but I am 170,000 experience short. And my goal is uh, to get the Centurion Action 10 by 
18th of January 2016. Why the 18th? Good question. Well, um, it's because uh, on the 19th, Wargaming is deciding who gets uh, the special mission for the tier 8 uh, premium uh, medium tank of the grids. The replacement of the. Ow, ow, ow. Um, the replacement of um, of the FV422, the old tier 10 British medium tank. And really, I want to pick one of this up because I um, I kind of like the British tanks. I love my Cromwell B, as you can already see from a plethora of videos. But I also like uh, the Comet, and right now uh, the Citroen 71. It's, it's just epic. And so. Uh, from what I saw from the Centurion Action 10, it will be just as epic, but only a, a notch higher. And so I think it would be very good to have another uh, T8 crew trainer. Also, it makes premium credits, which will be very good, I think. And uh, it helps you train your crew more. So that's my goal for um, the next month, basically. And uh, yeah, we just secured ourselves a crucial contribution, or now and uh, yeah uh, I think the game is over by now and I'm leaning back taking taking a drink and then I realized oh there's an ELC still alive and really from now on it's just uh, yeah um, you know what music comes into mind now What a nice little chase, yeah. And an artillery died by fire, also a, a, a good result. This was a crucial contribution for a platoon and a high caliber and a top gun for Quickie Baby. Sadly he was one kill short, but that ESC gave us a good running. Thanks for watching guys, uh, M4 out, bye bye. Have a merry merry Christmas and uh, a very good start into the next year 2016. Bye-bye.